Hello, this is Brock from Zeppelin Design Labs, and today we are going to be assembling the speaker cable for the 1x8 cabinet. First thing to do is take your 6 inch zip wire and separate the ends by about half inch, just like you see here, and then take the ribbed wire, not the writing wire, but the ribbed wire, and clip off about a quarter inch of that off each side, so the ribbed wire is shorter than the smooth wire. And then we're going to strip all four ends of that zip cable. And then we'll twist those ends together and tin each one of them. And the next step is the soldering portion. Remove the barrel and the little plastic sleeve from one of the quarter inch jacks. Hang on to that for later. And open up the crimp with your needle nose pliers a little bit so the wire can fit in there properly. Then put the jack and your clamp and hold it down tight. Then we're gonna go ahead and tin the ends there, basically fill up that little trough with solder on the negative side, and then on the positive side, do something similar, fill that hole in with solder there. And um, go ahead and solder the negative side of the cable down first in the trough, and then go ahead and solder the positive side down to the little ring there. And go ahead and crimp that wire closed with a crimp closed there. Then slide the little plastic sleeve over the jack there and then the barrel. Screw that down and we'll come back to that in a little bit. All right, for the next side of the cable, it's going to be basically the same thing except you've got to remember to put the little plastic sleeve and the barrel on the cable first. Otherwise, I'll, you won't have a way of attaching it once you get everything soldered. So make sure you do that, and then basically repeat the steps for this side of the cable. Filling in this, the trough, filling in the positive side, soldering both ends, and then crimp down the, the wire crimp, and then put the plastic sleeve over it, and the barrel. Screwing, screwing it down. Next step is checking everything. Uh, first step to doing that is making sure that for, through visual inspection that there's no stray wires coming off of the ends and uh, the solder joints are good. And then we use our multimeter and our connectivity tester to check whether we have connectivity between the positive and the positive side of the jack and the negative and the negative side. And we do not have conductivity between the positive and the negative side. So once that step is complete, we have our finished jack.